Welcome to our lecture online. Our next example looks like it doesn't really belong here, but actually we will solve it in the exact same way. Notice we do have a division symbol and we're going to change that into a multiplication symbol. Remember that the quantity 2x minus 3 is really the same thing as 2x minus 3 divided by 1. And so now you can see that when we rewrite this, this can be written as 2x squared minus x minus 3 times the inverse of that, which is 1 over 2x minus 3. And then, of course, this can be written as the rational expression 2x squared minus x minus 3 divided by 2x minus 3. Now, we get to this point, we need to factor the numerator. And so they'll probably look something like this, the product of two binomials. And we're going to need a 2x and an x. But to find the other numbers here, we may want to use the FOIL method. So for those who like to use the FOIL method, let's go ahead and see how that would be done. So here's the FOIL method to get the first two components. Either they'll be a 2 and a 1 or a 1 and a 2. And then to get the last term here, we need a minus 3 and a 1 or a 3 or a minus 1. So now what we're going to do is we're going to FOIL. To get the middle term, we need a negative 1. So we're going to multiply the 2 times the 1, that's 2, plus the 1 times the negative 3, which is a negative 3, which, wow, on the first try, we get the right result. It's a negative 1. So that means that the two binomials will look like this. So on the first binomial, we get a 2x. So what we did here is we used these two numbers, and we used these two numbers. So the first binomial will be a 2x, minus 3, and the second binomial will be an x and a plus 1. And so that's how we get the other two numbers. So we have a 2x minus 3 and an x plus 1. And now we can see that the 2x minus 3 cancels out, and we're left with an x plus 1 as our final result. And that is how that's done.